the whole process is just a dream come true. It's a blessing. Stepping on campus in the facility, meeting all the coaches, owners, just, just really, I'm ready to get to work. It just put you in that mindset like, okay, you here now. Now I got something else to prove to, to everybody else, all the fans and all everybody who's watching the NFL. We ready to get to work and win this Super Bowl. Can you repeat that, please? Being on that practice field for the first time, it was it was it was great. Just meeting all my teammates, bonding, building the brotherhood, learning who they are and what they like to do, and then just with my coaches, just learning their coaching style, learning how they want me to move, little different, little small feet work, and attacking the ball, catching. Just, just being able to work with them so they can get me ready for this first game that's approaching and get me through this whole camp is just a blessing because it's just gonna take everything that they give me, put it with, with what I already have, and it's just gonna make me a whole better player. My expectation for myself is just, just elevating, elevating my game, learning more, becoming a leader, and just building a foundation for myself so I can make a stamp in the game with my teammates and, and we can win this Super Bowl. Uh, when I sign my contract, it's gonna, it's gonna be life changing. But just, just by once I got my name called and once I was going through the whole process, I was handling myself as a pro and and getting ready for the next step. So I feel like I'm I'm already a pro. I, I've been handling myself as a professional. It's just that that the Cowboys gave me an opportunity to, to change the game. So this is what we're about to do. And I'm finna give with my brothers and we gonna go to work. I feel like it's a blessing. It's a dream come true. It's a lot of big players that that played before me. So it's like I'm holding. I gotta, I gotta hold myself to a standard, and they holding me to a standard. So I'm just getting better every day and and learning more every day, so I can go out and perform the best I can and make plays for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm excited and and I'm ready to face the challenge. I feel like I put put in all this work all my life just to get to this point and and I'm here surrounded by good coaches and they're gonna get me ready for to take this task at hand and be successful with it. Just all around, they want to see me make plays and lock down receivers. But as far as the coaches, they they're getting me familiar to how every how they're coaching and and the different techniques that they want me to do. Just just because I'm making a step from college to the NFL and and these different coaches, so I'm getting familiar with how my coach want me to perform and and the do's and the don'ts. The transition is it, fast, it, it's like it's overnight. Like it can come fast, so you just gotta be ready to work and you gotta be willing to go the extra mile for yourself and your team and your family. So this is what I'm, I'm doing to change my family life and and I'm gonna I'm I'm do well at it. Is it rep for you or always? Like when you're a professional, do you just do the reps? I just know my, my difference between my hobbies and my profession. Like football is going to get me paid and it's going to change my family life. So rap, so making music, 
it's just like a hobby. So I'm not too much worried about it right now, but there will be some music coming one day. But right now, it's just strictly business. Just making, when, once I transferred from LSU to Kentucky, me and Quentin, like we clicked. I told him my, my goals and my 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 dream that I wanted to play to the in the NFL, I wanted to do one year. And and basically, he knew he knew what we had to do. He already had the Kentucky blueprint and he just accepted me in and, and showed me the ropes, like around school, just becoming a better leader. And then as a teammate, he he always motivated me. We motivated each other. Like when if somebody get down, he gonna make sure he just gonna come up to me. Come on, let's let's get it done. Keep playing full speed. Go catch an interception. I tell him go get a sack. And and we just feed off each other. He go get a sack or he put pressure on the quarterback. They gonna throw it up, and I'm gonna catch the pick. I feel like I feel like I'm about to practice against some of the best receivers in the NFL, so I'm gonna be ready, and and they gonna make sure I'm ready. Uh, Sir, uh, it's a that's a, that would be a blessing, but right now I'm just working to get familiar with everything and master everything before I just step out on the field. Man, man, Trayvon, we have we haven't co connected yet, but soon once he get back in town, we gonna get right to it, get to work, breaking down film and just connecting with each other and building our bond. Even though I know that he just on the off season right now, getting ready and getting ready for that next step too. So I ain't too much on him right now. I'm just getting familiar, familiar with what's going on around and like going on with the practice and stuff. And I'm just learning from the coaches at this point. And then once Trayvon get in town, I should be familiar with everything. And we could just pick up moving on his speed. I feel like it's a blessing just to have this mini camp this year because a lot of rookies last year they didn't have this position they were just like on ipads learning from virtual so now that we have this position to go out with the coaches and get this quick head start i feel like it's a blessing and, and i'm gonna take advantage of it yes sir thank y'all